One of the common questions I get asked by my customers is, why does Corel draw out of a zero and 12 top left hand corner and the laser machine is zero, zero? Why can't the laser, why can't Corel draw be like a laser machine and be zero, zero? Well, this is because Corel draw works in a Cartesian plane and we happen to be in the top right hand corner. So because we're there, then this ruler here works from zero up. Now there is a way to do this in Corel Draw, and the easiest thing to do first, let's just open up the transformation command, I'll open up the position command. Now, if you right click inside your ruler, and I've got ruler set up, you can come down here and type in whatever the page height is. Now, the page height is 12 by 12. So my vertical has to be 12. Select OK. And now notice that my corner here is 0, which it was to begin with. And 0. Now, the only thing you've got to remember here is that if I draw, let's say, for example, I draw a one inch square. So let's just type one by one here. So notice now that that value is minus. So its location, which right now is the middle, is minus two because I'm actually going down the ruler. So because I'm going down, I've got to work with a negative number. So if I want to position this, say, at six, I've got to go minus six. And now I'm here. Now, if I want to do a duplicate of that object there, I just select relative position, and the same rules work as they did when my when this orientate or this origin was zero and twelve. So if I want to make a duplicate up, I'm going to use a positive number, and let's just set this to one and I move up. If I want to go down, I use a minus 2, and down I go. So again, these values still work. You just have to remember that this value here is a negative. And if you can get around that, then basically you can work with a top left-hand corner origin that's 0, 0 in Corel Draw. If you want to turn it back, just right-click, go to Ruler Setup, and then make this zero. So let's say, for example, if I get rid of these and let's make my page now, my vertical, 14. Now, if it's 14, if I want this to be zero, zero now, if I want this to be zero, zero here, I now have to right click on my ruler and make this 14. So now I'm to zero, zero. So just remember that every time you change your page height, this vertical number has to be the height of the page. Or if not, then this will not be zero here. So because my page is 14 inches, my vertical number was 14.